Fellas, these clones are trying to take over the market. <laughs> I got 10 in my collection that I feel like these are the best of the best. Like these 10 clone fragrances knocked it out of the park. Well, most of them did as far as how close they are to the original fragrance. And these would be kind of like the 10 I would keep for life. Like, like I said, 10 of the best of the best. So let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. You guys know if you've been rocking with me for a long time, what we do and what we talk about on this channel, man. We're into everything that is gonna have you looking and smelling your best every day. So if you're into fashion and you're into fragrance, you find the right channel. Make sure you hit subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon as well. So anytime I upload new content, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. So guys, on today's video, you heard me talk about it in the intro. In my opening monologue, I told you guys, we're gonna be talking about clone fragrances, all right? These are 10 of the best clone fragrances that I've come across in my journey. Now, clone fragrances are, uh, in my opinion, increasing in their popularity because at the end of the day, you can get you know, what smells like a super expensive, more popular, in most cases, niche brand fragrance for a fraction of the cost. And in these cases of the fragrances I want to talk about today, to me, they pretty much 95% nailed it as it relates to the overall smell of the fragrance, at least. I mean, in some cases, even uh, going all the way down to mimicking the bottle. But anyway, we're going to get into it. So as I said, this is going to, going to kind of be like the 10 I would keep for life. If I can only have 10 of these clone fragrances based on how good they are, how close they are, and of course, you know, scent profiles that I enjoy uh, most, that's what we're going to be talking about. These will be the 10 that I will keep. So if you want to see what I got on the list, you know how we rock, man. Keep it locked right here. Let's make it happen. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into the video. I'm super excited, so I don't want to belabor the time. Let's get into it, man. So first off, first up, I would say, this first fragrance right here, man, is from the house of Al Haramain. This is the only fragrance on the list that I'm going to talk about today that's not at least 95%. This one is more like 85, and I talked about it because I actually talked about this fragrance previously. But the fragrance is from the brand of Al Haramain, and this one is called Detour Noir. Detour Noir. Now, this is a very funny shaped bottle right here. You know, this is somebody that might have uh, scoliosis right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. A bad joke. All right. No, but, you know, the fragrance, though, this is really good. Like I said, it mimics the DNA of Leighton from Parfum de Marley. Now, again, this is the only one I want to talk about today that's not at least 95%. This one is about 85, but it's definitely going to remind you of Leighton from Parfum de Marley. The reason why I still made the list, although it's not up to that 95 percentile like the other fragrances, is just because it just smells great. All right, Leighton is a fragrance that I really, really love. Uh, it's been one of my favorite niche fragrances for a while. And so I was happy to have a fragrance that came out that kind of mimicked the, lit, the latent DNA. You know, we're used to the creeds, uh, people doing creed events. We're used to Baccarat Rue 540. But Leighton wasn't one, isn't one that's mimicked or cloned a lot. And again, they did a good job of kind of capturing that DNA, but then making the fragrance uh, have a little bit of its own, a little bit more um if i could even use that word here a little bit more of originality as it relates to not being a hundred percent a clone of Layton. but anyway it smells great and that's why it's on the list so if i could only have 10 clone or inspired by fragrances in my collection this would be one of the ones i would keep from the house of al haramain this is called detour noir all right guys now this next fragrance of course um and this is something i took into great consideration when i did this list these fragrances clone some of my favorite fragrances, and they got it about 95% correct in most cases. So 
let's go ahead and make that you know, the clear again, that disclaimer up front. So this particular fragrance mimics the DNA of uh, Elysium from the House of Roger Parfums. And this one is called Trillium. Trillium. Now guys, a lot of the fragrances that I'm gonna talk about today because this particular brand has come in. If you wanna talk about clones or inspired by fragrances, they're putting their, you know, their stake in that whole market. And I'm talking about Aroma Concepts, all right? I talked about Aroma, Conce Aroma Concepts a few videos back. And um, I actually have a discount code for you guys if you want to get anything that I talk about today that's from Aroma Concepts. Uh, they have a lot of different collections with under the umbrella of Aroma Concepts. And uh, this one right here, Trillium from the Amir Collection, is just one of them. Now, the code that you can use is DHIL10, and that'll get you 10% off anything that you may be interested in over there. So I'll make sure I link that down below if you guys want to check something out. Of course, you guys know I had to get you some kind of discount if you choose to do so. But Trillium, man, this is... Again, 95% similar to uh, Elysium from the House of Roger Parfums. Again, this is one even down to the bottle. You know, if you guys know what Elysium looks like, this is very reminiscent of the Elysium bottle. And like I said, not to really go through notes and things of that nature because most of these, at least the notes that are listed, are about the same thing as the original fragrance. So that's really not what this is about, what notes are in it. But again, as far as capturing the DNA, of Elysium, they did a pretty good job on this one. Again, about 95%. So this is definitely one I will keep for the rest of my life because I love the fragrance, the original fragrance as well. And this one is from Aroma Concepts, the Amir Collection, and this is called Trillium. All right, guys, so the next fragrance up on my 10 clone fragrances that I will keep for the rest of my life. This is also from Aroma Concepts, and this is from their Ministry of Oud Collection, and this one is simply called Oud Satin. Oud Satin. Yep, and if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you probably know what this one uh, clones, of course, and that is Oud Satin Mood uh, from the house of MFK, Amazing Francis Kirk John. And, you know, like I said, this is very close. Very close. I mean, if you can see the juice color here, that's the same color, the juice of Oud Satin Mood. And again, I think they did a pretty good job of capturing that DNA in this bottle. Another fragrance that, you know, is one of my favorites and another fragrance that isn't, you know, attempted to be cloned as much as some others. And that's one of the things that I really liked about this particular fragrance as well. But like I said, Oud Satin Mood, I think it retails for close to 300 bucks. And a lot of these fragrances you're looking at between that, you know, that 50 to $75 price point. So you really can't beat it because it gets really close. At the end of the day, man, with a lot of these fragrances, and you guys probably are quite, you know, conscious of this, 99% 99, 99 of the world is not going to know the difference between you wearing this or wearing the original, and 98% of the world is not even going to care, you know, so that's the reality of it. So if you like that DNA or any of these DNAs and, you know, you're not, you know, you're not really into spending that amount of money for a fragrance, these are some great options, man. So check it out. From the Ministry of Oud Collection. This one is called Oud Satin. All right, guys. This next fragrance is from the brand of Mason Alhambra. And this is called Woody Oud. This one is called Woody Oud. And yep, if you're looking at the bottle and you're listening to the name, you probably have already guessed which fragrance this particular fragrance is emulating. And if you said Oud Wood, you will be 100% correct. Same storyline as the other fragrances that I've already talked about, so I won't spend as much time kind of going through that again. But they did a great job of, you know, kind of encapsulating the main elements of Oud Wood. And this is another one where if you even look at the bottle, this bottle is very reminiscent of the actual Oud Wood bottle. You know, so it looks, you know, pretty much identical to the Oud Wood bottle. You know what I mean? So Oud Wood is one of my favorite fragrances, one of my favorites from the Tom Ford Private Blend Collection. So that's why this one is on the list. They did a great job of really capturing what Oud Wood is all about. 
in this bottle. So that's why this one is on the list. Again, this is from the brand Alhambra. And um, this one is called Woody Oud. All right, guys, for this next one that I will keep for the rest of my life, we're going back to the Aroma Concepts brand. Another one from the, one of their Emir collection. And this one is called Fire Your Desire. Fire Your Desire. Now, this one, I really love the bottle on this one. The bottle looks really, really elegant, man. If you look at the presentation on this, really like this one. And this fragrance emulates uh, Angel Share from by Killian. All right, so there was another fragrance out there, which I won't really get into that right now, uh, where a lot of people said that that fragrance was really like the, the best Angel Share clone out there. And I am 100% in disagreement with that because this is the best Angel Share clone. Seriously, they really, really got close to that DNA with this fragrance. And this bottle was cool too, man. I mean, that other fragrance, they tried to, they really did a, a good job of emulating the presentation. But this presentation is really, really nice as well. It doesn't look like Angel Share, but it's really, really nice. And again, I love that fragrance. So this one, again, they got it about 95% correct. So if you're looking for a good Angel Share from by Killian Alternative, look no further than this fragrance from the Amir Collection. This one is called Fire Your Desire. Listen, man, the Amir Collection from Aroma Concepts has this list on lock. They're just doing this clone thing really, really well. Now, this one is called Fornetic Delicios. Yep, and of course, this one is a clone of uh, Feb Delicios from uh, the Christian Dior Private Collection. Again, bottle was very reminiscent. Scent is very reminiscent as well. And um, look, man, if you're into sweet gourmand fragrances, uh, in my humble opinion, Feb Delicios is one of those fragrances you gotta get your nose on. It's got everything in there, vanilla, tonka bean, I mean, you name it, when you think about gourmand fragrances, it's in there. And again, they did a really good job from the bottle to the scent of kind of capturing what um, Feb Delicios is all about. Now this one has seem seemingly has been a little bit harder to find, but again, I'm pretty sure if you go to, to the Aroma Concepts website, they probably have them there. So anyway, check it out. Again, from the Amir Collection, this one is called Frenetic Delicios. All right, guys, now the next fragrance up on the list, this fragrance is emulating the DNA of Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford. And I think this one comes from the Aroma Concepts uh, line of fragrances as well. And this one is called Cheruto Tobacco Vanille. All right, Cheruto Tobacco Vanille. And I think this is from, what is this, the Pandora Scents? Um, line like I said, there's a lot of kind of different lines under the aroma concepts umbrella But again tobacco vanille uh, from Tom Ford, you know, the bottle isn't as reminiscent, but I do like this presentation. It's kind of neat um, Not really sure uh, Looks like the guy just that has a, a cigar or something in his mouth on the front. But anyway, it smells very very close to tobacco vanille very close very close man this is they did a good job on this one again the scents are really really you know sometimes you you know i'm so i'm surprised when i smell a clone that's that close to the original and that's what what that's was the case with this particular fragrance really really close to tobacco vanilla they did a good job but anyway that's why it's on the list like i said a lot of these fragrances are on here because they emulate some of my favorite fragrances and they got it right so check this one out Cheruto tobacco vanilla now guys, we're getting into these last three fragrances and these are very, very um, popular, recognizable clone fragrances. So I'm just gonna kind of show you the bottles on these, but I would definitely keep these three as well to close out the 10. From the Armaf collection, this is Club de Nuit Untold. This is Untold and of course, this is a Baccarat Rouge 540 um, clone fragrance. The only thing I would change about this bottle is I would make it 100% red. You know what I mean? Like, because I really love red and it's kind of got this psychedelic look going on. Uh, looks like the bottle from Imitation Man from Amwaj. Uh, but the fragrance itself, they got it. I mean, there's a lot of uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 clones out there on the market. This is my favorite. So check this one out from the brand of uh, Armaf. And this is called Club Day We Untold. All right, guys, the next up is, this one comes from another brand that does clones really, really well. The brand of Latafa, and this one is called Oud for Glory. Oud for Glory. And of course, this is a clone of the very 
popular fragrance from the brand of Initio uh, fragrances. And this one is called, uh, which is Oud for Greatness. Uh, Oud for Glory. Again, if you look at the bottle, if you know what Oud for Greatness looks like, you look at this bottle. Again, this is another one where they went after the presentation as well as the fragrance. And in both cases, they did a really great job. If you like Oud for Greatness and you don't want to spend the Oud for Greatness money, then look at this one because they really, really nailed the DNA on this fragrance. Again, this is from the brand Latafa, and this is called Oud for Glory. And last but not least, if you want to say a clone fragrance that needs no introduction, it would be this fragrance. And this is a clone of my favorite fragrance in my entire collection, Creed Aventus, and you know what this is, man. Club de Nuit Intense Man. This is, to me, the fragrance that made clone fragrances really popular because it cloned the most, at least at that time, it cloned the most popular niche fragrance in the world, which was Creed Aventus, and again, knocked it out of the park. I, again, guys, every time I wear this fragrance, I get compliments. I think, honestly, this one, this clone, when y'all compare it to the original Creed Aventus, yeah, I think this just projects more, especially within that first two to three hours. So, you know, for that reason, it really grabs people's attention uh, when you wear it. But anyway, knocked it out of the park. Again, still to me, one of the best uh, clones or imitations of Creed, the Creed Aventus DNA, especially this bottle that I think was produced in 2017 or 2018, maybe, somewhere around there. But anyway, knocked it out of the park. You guys know what this fragrance is and what it does. Don't have to talk about it much. Club Day New Intense Man, one of the best clones on the market still. But that's it, guys. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as I said before, I will link um, the link down for Aroma Concepts where you can find a lot of these fragrances, which I paid for all of these fragrances with the exception of one. Um, you know, so, but I'll rank Aroma Concepts down below if you guys want to check it out. And don't forget to use the discount code DHIL10 if you want to save 10% off. And I think the other ones, man, uh, the Armoffs and the Oud for Glory, you can find at Joma Shop. I'll make sure I link that down below as well. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. But don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to do what? like comment and subscribe and make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining because i'm your guy darren i'm the bowtie fragrance guy i love to look good and of course i love to smell amazing so until next time guys keep looking good keep smelling even better i'll catch you on the flip side peace